Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 with the Rude Man. We're back. Uh, Simon Farms, Simon Family Farms. And let's see, it looks like we were doing a little bit of a harvest. Hey, Rose. All right, what was, oh, I remember. Um, okay, yeah, we had, a, I was showing you how the, uh, the new precision farming thing was working. So let's grab the combine and get him back to work. Who's running this? Surge. You go, Surge. Alrighty, and then this is what I gotta do. I've gotta get rid of the lime so that I can uh, I, I didn't get the extensions on this spreader. And the, and the only way to do it since I've leased it is to unlease it. And the problem is, I want to lease it again with the extensions on, but um, i got to get rid of what's in it first. So, let's see if I can dump this stuff. Some place where I can pick it up again. Alright, let's open up the back. Hit the I button and nothing happened. Oh, there it went. It did happen. It happened. It happened. Alright, turn the GPS off. Don't need it. And Andy, get this thing back to the shop. Or the, or the uh, store. And we'll trade it in for a different model. Now, I've been working diligently on the game, the graphics card, Windows, everything I could think of. I've tweaked everything I could think of. And it looks like the game is playing a lot better. A lot better. We'll see how it records. But it, it, as you can see, everything seems to be running pretty smooth. Probably better than it has in a long time. Now, I may, I may go back to Midtown and see if what I've done has fixed that problem I was having. Now, I've tweaked everything I could think of. Graphics card, the CPU, everything I could think of. Windows. And um, it seems to be running pretty good. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so let's see here. We want to go to the garage and lease items and unlease this thing. Not like I got a lot of money to be playing with here, but it's got to do what I want it to do or what's the point. So let's return it. All right, and then whoop, 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 whoop. We're gonna buy it again, only this time. You know, I swear that I got the extensions before. I'm, I'm pretty sure I hit this spreading disc thing and, uh, and, and put the extension on, but maybe not. Well, evidently not, because I didn't have it. Maybe I hit the extension and thought that that put the spreading disc on. But th now the spreading disc is on, that's what I need, so let's lease that. And then let's head back out. Try this over. All right. So I'll tell you what I've done. Uh, this game does not work well in high definition. We've known that for a long time. And it's it's interesting because uh, places like Twitch and YouTube, uh, platforms like that, they do not consider 720p high definition anymore 
It used to be that 720p was high definition. And then we started working 1080p. Um, and now we're up into 4K and 8K. Not me, 4K, but not 8K. Um, but they're, they're actually not even considering 720p as being high definition anymore. Although it still says it is. I mean, if you look at... Uh, at videos that come out and it says that it's it's being broadcast in in high definition and then and then they list 720p but they don't really consider it anymore if you really want high definition it's at least 1080p all right let's put this stuff in here but this game does not run well in higher definition higher resolution it doesn't record well so what I did this morning after I got through tweaking everything I could think of is I went into my GPU and um, and I told it to play this game not in 4k play it in 1080p no higher and then I set the recording to record in 1080p. And as you can see, it seems to be running pretty smooth. So uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Every time I just... Because everything else I record, most everything else, unless it's an older game. But the new games, you know, the role-playing games that I like to play, they're all in 4K. And so uh, I play in 4K. My monitor's 4K. My graphics card can handle it. And it's, it's going to be a pain in the ass every time I decide to uh, record or, or do anything. Uh, cha changing the graphics card down to to um, 1080p resolution before I start. It's not that big a deal because most of the time they're set up anyway. I don't just jump on a computer, turn a game on and start working it when I'm when I'm recording or live streaming. There's always at least a half hour, if not longer, of preparation, making sure I've got the right uh, title, the right thumbnail, making sure I've got the right settings for the game, um, all of that kind of stuff. It takes a little bit of time to set up. If um, I was playing just one game, wouldn't be a big deal. But I play many, many, many different things, and each one you know, that's a different setup, so. All right, now let's try our little experiment again. What I was trying to do was to spread the line while I was doing the, uh, the scanning. That's what I was trying to do. So, let's Let's see if we can do that. Is that the front? That's the front. I think I'm going to continue where I'm at here. Let's let's get the GPS turned on. Okay, and then we were on. Oh, ba 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 ba. Um, that's the sensor, the base group. We got it set up on the sensor. All right, let's do this. We're gonna change this. Is that, I don't know why it's going at that weird angle. Well, the field isn't straight anyway. Let's go, let's, I don't know. Let's go with it. I'll turn it on. You wanna get the spreader? down 
and start it up. Get to the scanner. Pick the scanner up, drop it. Lower it, turn it on. And let's see if this is going to do what I want it to do. It, it kind of looks like it is because I think the yellow is the scanner and the green is the lime. So I think, think this might work. Somebody said that they thought they saw somebody doing this. So they were trying to save a step. Yeah, I think I've got the GPS at an angle, but I'm going to leave it like that. It's going to cover the field, and then I'll redo it sometime in the future. It seems to be working that uh, it's showing this field as being as being scanned and there goes the there goes the lime again. Yeah, I was getting a little worried there but it takes a minute for everything to pop in into focus if you will. On the, I'm looking at the mini map. I'm afraid to turn the limer off because if you remember from the last episode, I, I couldn't get the scanner and the limer to work together until I unhooked one of them and started the other one up and then hooked back up. Um, not the best solution, but it worked. And if it saves me, this is going to save me going over this field at 12 miles an hour, you know, more than a half a dozen times. Interestingly enough, it appears that the limerator and the sensor are both the same width. Got lucky there. that why'd it cut out like that that was weird why is it doing that why is it doing that that's kind of weird oh wait a minute the sensor's not down oh when did I put that up oh man okay oh jeez. sensor back on okay that that should be it's double liming all right it turned the limer off which it should if it senses that it's you know it's got enough uh, lime on it it's supposed to turn that thing off so I must have hit the button. All right, it's back to scanning. Isn't this a joy? Joy, 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 joy. If I get this thing perfected, this routine, it's going to save me a lot of time because that 
uh, soil sampling was taking forever to, to stop, drop, drag a soil sample in, move 15 feet, drop, pain, pain. What's really going to be easy is when I can hire that geologist, but my God, i got to have some money before I can do that. If you remember, I mentioned in the last episode, I've got a, a mod that lets me hire a ge geologist to come out and do the soil sampling for me. But he charges thousands of dollars to do it. to turn that bomber off. Oh, look, it put it back up. Don't do that. Did it turn the lime raider off? It did. It did. Okay. Um. All right. I'm going to have to do it like this again. Start it up. Oh, it's out of lime. It's out of line. <laughs> on it. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I've got a couple more passes to do on this. Uh, let me jump over and get... i got to get this harvest going. And uh, we'll get back to that. There's no crop growing, so it's no big hurry. Let's go get 48. Am I running out of daylight? Boy, look at that sky. Whoa, isn't that pretty? Usually you see red uh, sunsets, not yellow. That was kind of pretty. We're about ready to end a farm day. I got all these hired hands, but I end up doing most of the work again. Got it. God, I got to get that grass picked up. The grass is growing on me. 
it's going to be all fully grown up before I get it pulled off that field. But that looks like another day because we're almost out of daylight. Let's see, how should I do this field? Um, let's just start across here. We'll put him to work. Serge's got lights. He's got work lights. He can work through the night. Oh, I forget. When I jump out, that's our driver. I can't do that. I need to move to a different person. Okay. Who are we in, Rose? All right, um, sun's going down. Um, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, let's look around. Hang on. Let me see. What's on the other tractor? That's the John Deere. This guy's nobody. All right, we're going to go back and get our quicker picker upper before it gets dark. I was going to call it a day, but um, it's not quite dark enough. We still got daylight to work. Yeah, I would say the game is perform performing drastically better from all the tweaking and changes and changing that I've done. I think in my off time, I'm going to go back to Midtown and see if I've made any, if what I've done has made any difference on that one. All right, we got John driving the quicker picker upper. Although, I don't know if I can call it a quicker picker upper anymore. It's pretty slow. It's not my mod. I called my mod the quicker picker upper for two reasons. It it drove a lot faster, and it had those booms on it, so it, it did quite a swath. So it made the picking up pretty quick. All right, let's get a roll started before we head for the barn. Put the lower the feed, start the motor, the brushes. sleep this is really going to grow although I can't remember I think I've got it on slow growth I don't I don't recall how I said it um, with Midtown I had everything set slow growth uh, to try to make it a little bit harder and I can't remember what I did on this one even so we started from scratch we didn't have any equipment at $100,000. We did have land, though. Yeah, at this point, I'll probably just sell the grass because I don't... Well, wait a minute. I was going to do uh, silage, wasn't I?
Okay, it's not quite full, but it's getting darker now. I think I'm going to run in and, and uh, get ready for the next day. Rose, get in there and bake me a pie. Wait, she's not the cook. All right, let's go get some shut eye and I'll see you in the morning. It's morning. We're back out on the field. I did finish the the liming and the scanning. So let's let's get up in this field and see what it looks like. All right. Let's uh, turn this thing on. And what field are we looking at? This one right here. Okay. Well, as you can see, it doesn't consider this one field. It's This whole thing is considered the field. So we're only seeing the part I did. So soil types. It's mostly uh, silty clay. We got a little bit of loam on, on the bottom here and a strip there and a little bit of sandy loam. Now, if you remember... Um, if you remember the loam, this, this brownish, tannish, whatever color you want to call that, light brown, tan, uh, that is the, going to be the highest yield, uh, soil. The next highest yield is going to be this greenish sandy loam. And then the third is the, uh, silty clay. And then the, uh, fourth is uh, going to be the loamy sand, which we don't have any of on this field. So that worked. It did get the lime on it. Um, as you can see, our costs, uh, since we did the scanning ourselves, um, we consider the cost of the scanning the price of the scanner. And I guess. And so we got uh, $7,862 in the lime. Uh, we got 118 in fuel. Vehicle maintenance, because we spent the night, that vehicle maintenance happens at night. And then the AI helper, I had to pay $1,900. So that means that we have to have a yield, or, or we're expecting a yield of, uh, what is that, 130 Let's see. So request analysis of field 19. Oh, wow. We're not on field 19. They're considering 19 this whole area right here. That was going to cost me thousands to do that. Okay, if we're looking at yields right here, you can see the green is going to be the better. Um, we got the dark green right here is going to be the 125% yield. Now, remember, I haven't fertilized yet. This is just lime. Uh, the lighter colored green is 150 to 110. The yellow is going to be around 85 to 90, 95. We got some kind of in between yellow and green there. But uh, again, I haven't fertilized yet. So there we go. There we go. Let's get this harvest done. I need to get the rest of that grass picked up. Park John Deere right here. Let's find the combine. He's shut down here. Let's get 48 up here to empty that com. Oh, we had the grass here. Remember, I told you this had uh, this uh, this harvest store they call it, and I don't know what it does. Does it just store? I haven't looked it up. 
I could go and find it somewhere online and find out what this thing does. But it looks like it takes grass. So I'm going to put the grass in it and see what happens. We're all into science, aren't we? Get a little experimentation. Let me jump out of this for a second. Run around the trailer. Okay, now there's, there isn't any kind of gauge or anything that comes up to tell me what's happening here. This is what it looks like on the inside. There's the harvest store there. Okay. Where's the grass? Is it just storage? All right, so uh, nothing is showing up Nothing's showing up in storage. So what does that thing do? What does it do? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Here's the spout to pick stuff up, so... All right. I don't know. It's a mystery. We'll find out. Let's get back out to it. We got a lot of work to do. Get 48 up there and get a little bit more of this fruit. Are you going to take all of that? Right now, we've got some trees to deal with here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run this thing around these trees, so we got some room to turn on the field. Boy, that's a tight. That's a brushy place right there. Must be well watered. Plenty of moisture in the ground. All that brush to grow. I'm assuming that uh, I don't owe that field to the to the left of us. Do I not own that field? No, I don't. It's part of a bigger field. I thought it was the end of this field, but it isn't. We're going to have to pick jobs to do. Uh, I can't... Uh, I can't keep jumping between jobs. So I think what we'll probably do is pick pick a job to do. Like uh, today we're gonna do harvest. Uh, the next time we come on, we might be cutting grass and picking it up. It's almost like if I try to do everything, I don't get anything done. All right, Serge, it's all yours, buddy. Let's take 48 in and see what we can do with him. I 
haven't played with the storage yet. I don't know if those storage bins over on the side by the house, if they're independent from each other. I've been on some farms where the different silos held different things. So you'd have uh, a silo for potatoes, let's say. Oh man, is there no road? Well, there is, but... Can I get beside the field here? Well, it's tight, but I can do it, I think. John, why are you in the middle of the road? He's, he's had too much coffee. All right, we've got silos over here. Uh, they do have independent pipes. So, how do they work? I mean, I can't drive under them, they're too low. Really, seriously. How do these things work? I can't drive underneath that. That's just a dryer vent, right? Um, so, how does that work? This is just a shop. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to put my uh, Maurice in that I'm used to using for storage. I don't think. Is that the main storage? You put everything in there and then it pops it out somewhere? I don't know. I really don't. Let's get this quicker picker up or out of here. There is a spout in there, but I don't think I can get this big equipment in there. So I don't know how to get that stuff out of there. This is going to be fun until I figure out how to do it. I might put my own in there, my own storage in, until I figure out how this works. But I like, I like to figure things out. Uh-oh, what did he do? Oh my goodness, he's done already. Sweet, moving on. Moving on. See what he's going to do at the end. If he's going to jump to that other field or not. Uh, no. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if he did, but. All right, he knows what he's doing, so let him go. Uh, did I jump out of 48? I jumped out of 48, didn't I? Where did I park it? There she is. 
All right, let me drive up to these pipes here and see what that's all about. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's, uh, Oh, we need augers. It takes an auger to get stuff out of there. Okay. Let's see what this pipe does. I don't know if it does anything. That doesn't look like there's a trigger there. Wow, what was that glitch? Turn over the other side here. See, there's a pipe in there, but I wouldn't be able to get, I think 48 might be able to back in there. But, yeah, there's a trigger there. But, uh, is, is there a door here? No, doesn't look like it. All right, well, I gotta figure this out. Are all these things hooked together is the question. Let's turn the trigger thing back on. Wow, that is, oh geez, what is going on? That is a big trigger there. That whole area is a trigger. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's get back to 48. I'm going to take 48 over to that storage and see what, if I can drop it. If I can drop the... I, I, I can't afford to store this. I need to sell it. Because I need the money. But I'm curious. So let, let me drive around to that silo right there. Oh, wait a minute. That trigger is a door. Look at that door's closed now. The garage door. What does that mean? Interesting. I don't think I want to drop this in there. I'm just going to go sell this. Um, I'm going to sell it. I don't know where to sell it, but we'll figure that out. But we're actually at the end of our time today. So we're going to leave this at cliffhanger. Not knowing where to sell. Not knowing where to store. Uh, we've still got harvest to do. We've got some more grass to pick up. we got a lot of work to do. But that's the story for another day. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you in the next episode. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Enjoy your games. And ta-ta for now.